In mathematics, holomorphic functions are the central objects of study in complex analysis. A holomorphic function is a complex-valued function of one or more complex variables that is complex differentiable in a neighborhood of every point in its domain. The existence of a complex derivative in a neighborhood is a very strong condition, for it implies that any holomorphic function is actually infinitely differentiable and equal to its own Taylor series. The term analytic function is often used interchangeably with holomorphic function, although the word a euro o analytic a euro is also used in a broader sense to describe any function that can be written as a convergent power series in a neighborhood of each point in its domain. The fact that all holomorphic functions are complex analytic functions, and vice versa, is a major theorem in complex analysis. Holomorphic functions are also sometimes referred to as regular functions or as conformal maps. A holomorphic function whose domain is the whole complex plane is called an entire function. The phrase holomorphic at a point ZO means not just differentiable at ZO, but differentiable everywhere within some neighborhood of ZO in the complex plane. Definition Given a complex valued function f of a single complex variable, the derivative of f at a point ZO in its domain is defined by the limit. This is the same as the definition of the derivative for real functions, except that all of the quantities are complex. In particular, the limit is taken as the complex number Z approaches ZO, and must have the same value for any sequence of complex values for Z that approach ZO on the complex plane. If the limit exists, we say that f is complex differentiable at the point ZO. This concept of complex differentiability shares several properties with real differentiability, it is linear and obeys the product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule. If f is complex differentiable at every point ZO in an open set U, we say that f is holomorphic on U. We say that f is holomorphic at the point ZO if it is holomorphic on some neighborhood of ZO. We say that f is holomorphic on some non-open set A if it is holomorphic in an open set containing A. The relationship between real differentiability and complex differentiability is the following. If a complex function f, x plus e a euro y, equals u, x, y, plus e a euro v, x, y, is holomorphic, then u and v have first partial derivatives with respect to x and y, and satisfy the Kaukia Euro Riemann equations. Or, equivalently, the wording a derivative of f with respect to the complex conjugate of z is zero. Which is to say that, roughly, f is functionally independent from the complex conjugate of z. If continuity is not a given, the converse is not necessarily true. A simple converse is that if u and v have continuous first partial derivatives and satisfy the Kaukia Euro Riemann equations, then f is holomorphic. A more satisfying converse, which is much harder to prove, is the lumani euro menchoff theorem, if f is continuous, u and v have first partial derivatives, and they satisfy the kaukia euro riemann equations, then f is holomorphic. Terminology, the word holomorphic was introduced by two of Courtier's students, Bryant and Bouquet, and derives from the Greek a one-half iii meaning entire, and I one quarter III registered trademark meaning form, or appearance. Today, the term holomorphic function is sometimes preferred to analytic function, as the latter is a more general concept. This is also because an important result in complex analysis is that every holomorphic function is complex analytic, a fact that does not follow directly from the definitions. The term analytic is however also in wide use. Properties because complex differentiation is linear and obeys the product, quotient, and chain rules. The sums, products and compositions of holomorphic functions are holomorphic, and the quotient of two holomorphic functions is holomorphic wherever the denominator is not zero. If one identifies C with a two, then the holomorphic functions coincide with those functions of two real variables with continuous first derivatives which solve the Kalkia euro riemann equations a set of two partial differential equations. Every holomorphic function can be separated into its real and imaginary parts, and each of these is a solution of Laplace's equation on a 2. In other words, if we express a holomorphic function f, z, as u, x, y, plus e a euro v, 
x, y, both u and v are harmonic functions, where v is the harmonic conjugate of u and vice versa. Cauchy's integral theorem implies that the line integral of every holomorphic function along a loop vanishes. Here I cubed is a rectifiable path in a simply connected open subset U of the complex plane C whose start point is equal to its end point, and F, U or C is a holomorphic function. Cauchy's integral formula states that every function holomorphic inside a disk is completely determined by its values on the disk's boundary. Furthermore, Suppose U is an open subset of C, F, U or C is a holomorphic function and the closed disk D equals Z, Z A Z O a permeal currency R is completely contained in U let I cube be the circle forming the boundary of D. Then for every A in the interior of D, where the contour integral is taken counterclockwise. The derivative for euro squared, A, can be written as a contour integral using Cauchy's differentiation formula. For any simple loop positively winding once around a, and for infinitesimal positive loops I cubed around A. In regions where the first derivative is not zero, holomorphic functions are conformal in the sense that they preserve angles and the shape of small figures. Every holomorphic function is analytic. That is, a holomorphic function F has derivatives of every order at each pointer in its domain and it coincides with its own Taylor series at A in a neighborhood of A. In fact, F coincides with its Taylor series at A in any disk centered at that point and lying within the domain of the function. From an algebraic point of view, the set of holomorphic functions on an open set is a commutative ring and a complex vector space. In fact, it is a locally convex topological vector space, with the seminorms being the suprema on compact subsets. From a geometric perspective, a function f is holomorphic at ZO if and only if its exterior derivative df in a neighborhood U of ZO is equal to phi euro squared, z, dz for some continuous function phi euro squared. It follows from that df a euro squared is also proportional to dz, implying that the derivative phi euro squared is itself holomorphic and thus that f is infinitely differentiable. Similarly, the fact that d, f dz, equals phi euro squared dz a section dz equals zero implies that any function f that is holomorphic on the simply connected region u is also integrable on u. For a path i cubed from z o to z lying entirely in u, define. In light of the Jordan curve theorem and the generalized Stokes theorem, phi cubed, z, is independent of the particular choice of path i cubed, and thus f, z, is a well-defined function on u having f, Z O equals F O and D F equals F D Z. Examples: All polynomial functions in Z with complex coefficients are holomorphic on C, and so are sine, cosine, and the exponential function. The principal branch of a complex logarithm function is holomorphic on the set C A Z and R Z A permeal zero currency. The square root function can be defined as, and is therefore holomorphic wherever the logarithm log Z is. The function 1 slash z is holomorphic on z, z a permeal 0. As a consequence of the Cauchy euro riemann equations, a real valued holomorphic function must be constant. Therefore, the absolute value of z, the argument of z, the real part of z and the imaginary part of z are not holomorphic. Another typical example of a continuous function which is not holomorphic is the complex conjugate z formed by complex conjugation. Several variables, the definition of a holomorphic function generalizes to several complex variables in a straightforward way. Let D denote an open subset of Cn, and let F, D a C. The function F is analytic at a point P in D if there exists an open neighborhood of P in which F is equal to a convergent power series and n complex variables. Define F to be holomorphic if it is analytic at each point in its domain. Osgood's lemma shows that, for a continuous function f, this is equivalent to f being holomorphic in each variable separately. The much deeper Hartog's theorem proves that the continuity hypothesis is unnecessary, f is holomorphic if and only if it is holomorphic in each variable separately. More generally, 
a function of several complex variables that is square integrable over every compact subset of its domain is analytic if and only if it satisfies the Cauchy Euro Riemann equations in the sense of distributions. Functions of several complex variables are in some basic ways more complicated than functions of a single complex variable. For example, the region of convergence of a power series is not necessarily an open ball. These regions are Reinhardt domains, the simplest example of which is a polydisc. However, they also come with some fundamental restrictions. Unlike functions of a single complex variable, the possible domains on which there are holomorphic functions that cannot be extended to larger domains are highly limited. Such a set is called a domain of holomorphy. Extension to functional analysis The concept of a holomorphic function can be extended to the infinite dimensional spaces of functional analysis. For instance, the Fra copyright Chet or Gar Cento derivative can be used to define a notion of a holomorphic function on a Banach space over the field of complex numbers. See also, antiderivative, anti-holomorphic function, biholomorphy, meromorphic function, quadrature domains, harmonic maps, harmonic morphisms. References Analytic functions of one complex variable, Encyclopedia of Mathematics. Springer Online Reference Books, Wolfram Math World, Alefors, L, Complex Analysis, 3 ed, Inrisi, P, Applied and Computational Complex Analysis. Three volumes, 1974, 1977, 1986. Peter E. Benfeldt, Norbert Hungerber One Quarter Lair, Joseph J. Cohn, Naiming Mock, Emil J. Straub Complex Analysis Springer Science and Business Media. A. B. Markushevich, A. I., Theory of Functions of a Complex Variable. Three Volumes. A. B. Gunning, Robert C. Rossi, Hugo, Analytic Functions of Several Complex Variables, Prentice Hall Series in Modern Analysis, Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey Prentice Hall, pp. ZIV Plus 317, Mr. 0180696, ZBL 0141.08601, Gray, J. D. Morris, S. A. When is a function that satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations analytic? The American Mathematical Monthly 85, 246 a Euro 256, doi, 10.2307 slash 2,321,164, 2 Markushevich, A. I. Silverman, Richard A., ed. Theory of Functions of a Complex Variable. New York, American Mathematical Society. Pages 112. ISBN 0 8218 3780X. Inrisi, Peter, 1986, Applied and Computational Complex Analysis, Volume 3, Wiley Classics Library, New York, Chichester, Brisbane, Toronto. Singapore, John Wiley and Sons, PPX plus 637, ISBN 0-471-58986-1, Mr. 0822470, ZBL 1107.30300. Evans, Lawrence C., Partial Differential Equations, American Mathematical Society. ABC Lang, Serge, Complex Analysis. Springer Verlag GTM, Springer Verlag, Rudin, Walter, Real and Complex Analysis, New York, McGraw Euro Hill Book Company, ISBN 978-0-07-054234-1, Mr. 924157, Gunning and Rossi, Analytic Functions of Several Complex Variables, Pages 2. University Mathematics, Blakey, J. Ph.D. Blackwell Ad Sons, 2nd. EDTN, 1958. External links, Haswinkel, Mikiel, ed., Analytic Function, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer, ISBN 978-1-55608-010-4.